Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Chicken Police. We are still here in the office of Madame Zaivas. And um, yeah, so I do really enjoy this game. And I think I've been playing yesterday and this, uh, this current day here a couple of hours. And um, since the, the case got rolling, it's really nice and I really enjoy the little like investigation episodes and the interrogations I get better at them but yeah so um, we're gonna find out what she has uh, for us she just left and we uh, can snoop around here a little bit and see what we can find here beautiful pieces for sure they must be worth a fortune I think we just I think it's the clock. Just look at the clock here. Ah, okay. So, let's look at your personal information. Oh, wait, wait. 49 years of the rept. Uh, 49. Let's, let's plug it to 4 and 9. 4 and 9. Maybe the other way around. Ah, come on. Fuck. Hmm. Okay. Ah, we gathered some personal information about her. Maybe um, we can get a number or something? Zaivas and Natasha did not only know each other, but had a serious close relationship. Not even Zaivas could trace every piece of Natasha's obscure past, even though she tried to utilize all of her uh, connections and influence, in influence, in influence the matter. <laughs> it touched her deeply when Natasha, whom she loved like a daughter, left the Nile for Ibn Wesla. Yeah. Hey, where's the new clue? Oh, okay. Natasha worked at the sweltering Nile brothel before even Wesla discovered her and got her out of there. Okay. Hmm. Maybe something like that. Yes. This is the Zevas from the legends. Beautiful and deadly. Okay. Okay, let's look at the books again. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. Yeah. Seven pieces of my mind. There's a seven, there's a 49. Key. These books are here for. Yeah. Seven, maybe. Let's just do seven o'clock. Seven pieces of my mind. Or a 749, maybe. Mm, yes. A hidden door. Who'd have thought? I'm getting bad at this. Like the first riddle, I completely like just uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but this time I was pretty on uh, on fleek here. Nice. She is a legendary ex spy. Well, yeah. this. But we're better. <laughs> something I've never understood. Why isn't a key good enough? I mean, you can take that with you, but riddles can be solved by anyone. I don't think many animals get to be in this room, Marty. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, maybe she wanted us to find it. Exactly what I'm thinking. Okay. Who okay. knows? Anyway, we're going in. I mean, I uh, I think she's interested. <laughs> interested in Natasha, um, yeah, getting saved. I think it's her way of protecting her or caring for her. This room is not like her at all. Yeah. The other must have been for show. Okay. Marty, this is the reality. We're talking about a professional spy. A former spy. Still, yes. if anyone knows how to mask a real face, it's her. Okay. Do you think this is who she really is? <clears throat> Cold, dark, and tiny. And full of secrets. Is this the Fox King? Ugh, Fox. This place gives me the creeps. Me too. We better get out of here before she comes back. I always go from the like least suspicious um, 
um, points. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Ladies of the Force. So the rumors are true. Military intelligence. This dame's really something. I'm starting to think the whole brothel is just a cover. Ah, uh, makes sense. You think she's still working for Royal Intelligence? Well, based on what she told us, she's a committed royalist. So I imagine she does. Maybe Royal Intelligence is like, um, their FBI. So, yeah, secrecy, stuff like that. Hector the Fox King. A great and fair king. I feel sorry for the poor fox, to be honest. Yeah, they say he's just a puppet of the Council of Twelve, I think. And yeah, maybe they play him, they do him dirty there. I don't. He has it pretty good. Mm. Would you like to live your life as a puppet? Yeah. Everything you do, carefully planned. Your rule and authority, the whole thing. Just, just for show. For show. Mm -hmm. Even if he is just a puppet, Clawville needs a king. He gives strength and hope to many animals. Mm -hmm. huh. I guess. Okay. Can we look at that? Ah, names, numbers, dates. Oh, furry gods. You think they all belong to the brothel? No. Hell no. <laughs> Half of it is a matter of national security. What did we step into? You know what? I don't care, Marty. I'm too old for conspiracies. Mm -hmm. The only thing that matters to me is to find out what the furry hell we're doing here. And what it has to do with Natasha. Sure. Mm -hmm. Got the typewriter first. Report. Subject. Ancient Angel Colomar? What is about separatist group movements? Action number. Code definition moon. Deliver parrot grass shining angel wing six. Okay, I think we have to decode this. Somebody started typing a letter but left it unfinished. What does it say? Number 29472222. Report about separatist group movements. Damn it. Don't even read that. What? Why not? I don't know about you, but I don't want to get caught up in the royalist separatist conflict. What you don't know can't hurt you. You're gonna right? get uh, caught anyways. I can't even recognize you, Read too deep. Where did you put your already? sense of adventure? My sense of adventure has retired. <laughs> Leave it alone. Yep. Okay. Moon deliver parrot grass shining angel wing six. Yep, this is the missing. This has got art. to be it, Marty. Look at the missing page. Oh, okay. gods. And look at the names. Yeah. The ladies. The ladies and their guests. And yeah. on top, Natasha. What this means, Marty, is that the most influential people in the city had been Natasha's patrons. Some even from the royal family. Mm -hmm. This book could destabilize Clawville. At least the Clawville we currently know. You think this is behind everything? Somebody's blackmailing Natasha because of this? That could easily be the case. But something still doesn't fit. Yeah. That piece of a painting. Sonny? If there's even a small chance of... Sonny, what? There's another familiar name here. What are you talking about? Deborah. That's what Deborah. Molly. <gasps> it's Molly. Natasha Molly August Bishop Clucking hell, Sonny. Molly? She was working here too. Uh, it's probably someone else with the same name. Hmm. So that's why Natasha told me they'd known each other for a long time. Look, boss. I can't believe it. All those stories about her past. Oops. Listen, Bossberg. Molly loved you, right? Isn't that what matters? Marty, please shut your fucking beak right now or I'll shut it for you. But we don't know the time period. How long 
has Natasha been the owner of uh, the Star Club? When did she leave? I don't... I mean... Um, Miss Z Madam Zyros told us that she had seen her two months ago with Ibn, so... The whole Ibn falls in love with her, oh, they fall in love with each other, um... Um... Had to be, like... At least uh, a few months ago, so... Or did she say, like, a few years ago she knocked on my door? I don't know, so... We, we don't know when uh, Molly left Sunny, etc. If she worked there after that, if it was before. Okay, boss. I'm sorry, but just shut the clock up. We've caught them sneaking Wait. around, Miss Diamond. You see? I see. Diamond. Go back off, ladies. Okay. There's no need for this. We don't want trouble. No, maybe you don't. Unfortunately, trouble has found you, gentlemen. I wonder if it was a trap. Because they were, were like, oh, maybe she wanted us to find it. Maybe she wanted us and wanted to trap us. We don't know. Madam Zaybos, we and needed Zaybos. to know the connection. What this place has to do with Natasha. And... Molly. And? And my wife. Filthy cops? He's talking gibberish. May I shoot him? No, not yet. No, please don't. I'd be very sorry to put holes in your lovely striped skin, uh. but believe me, baby, I will. I've always wanted to know if diamonds are bulletproof. Please, uh. madam. It'll all be over in a second. No. We have received different orders, Miss Diamond. Stand down. Oh, I see. The pony does tricks on command. Well, Ooh. I'm not surprised. That's enough, Marty. You knew who she was, didn't you? What she meant to me. Well, well, Mr. Featherland. Aren't you interested in your case anymore? No? All it took was a name from your past, and your professionalism drowned in the mud. Mm. Stop playing games with me, Zavos. What does all this have to do with Molly? Nothing at all. No. She was just a little bird among the many who sought refuge here. Mm -hmm. You forced her into this. You'd love to hear that, but until she met you, until... she was one of us. Just another... You clucking... Sonny, no! Oh boy. Well, well. I think I was dreaming, but it wasn't the kind it's of dream Eben. you'd want to what? remember. Dark and painful. Did she kill Eben? Then the suffocating smoke woke me. It wasn't fried eggs, that's for sure. Where was I? What happened? Guys, it's getting real That treacherous hot. crocodile. Then I saw Marty. Who looked as horrible as I felt. Well, Did she kill I've always Eben? wanted a romantic a sea voyage. Whoop. God damn it! I knew I shouldn't have gone along with this. Ugh. Sorry, I told good. you you could get good, out good, any time. Yeah, and you knew damn well that I wouldn't. That I would never leave you in deep shit once I've joined you. You knew it, and you still asked me to do it. Marty, listen. You're a selfish bastard, Sonny, and you drag everyone around you down with you. How long was it till retirement? 120 days? 121. But you just couldn't sit still on your ass, could you? Well, take a good look around, boss bird. This is you, and this is what follows you. Just oh boy. this clucking misery and dead bodies. Do you understand? You have nothing else to offer but suffering. <laughs> Marty. And feeling sorry for yourself. Oh, you're great at that. I can't believe this shit. We're gonna die here on a goddamn blazing ship like roast chicken. Well, it's dramatic at least, just like you like it. Marty. What? I've almost managed to untie the knot. But if you keep thrashing around like that, we're really gonna yeah. die here. Concentrate, okay. Ah, for cluck's sake, fine. Work your magic. 
Until okay. then, I'm gonna say all the prayers I know. You better. So, oh my god. Okay, let's we'll be better get going. Chicken. And I hope there are spices in those barrels at least. Is it a ship? Oh boy. This one. Huh? How do I oh boy. What's the Oh shit, there's a timer. Um Hey. Uh, this is a bit oh boy. Okay. Can get this. Oh holy fuck. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, almost got it, almost got it. Yes. So what now? Now we run and swim. I can't swim. Well, you better learn fast or you'll die. I mean, I'm gonna drag your fat ass to the shore. Doesn't you float? Well, I shouldn't have brought this many guns with me. <laughs> Throw them away then. Never. <laughs> and they'll drag you down into the deep. Ah, I don't care. I always thought your gun mania would be your undoing. Cluck you, Sonny. We have to survive this first. Well, after you, boss bird. Oh. <sighs> that furry fucking clucking gods. Damn. Yeah. Listen, Marty. What? What you said on the ship. What? What about it? It's you true. Right. Yeah. I knew this would happen. Or something like it. I dragged you into this deliberately. Because I'm not enough on my own. I mean, you can say that Marty wasn't thrilled to get some action. I mean, nearly getting fried, roasted, whatever. <laughs> it's maybe not that kind of action you hope for, but yeah, you know, he needs that. Sonny, cut the crap. No, I'm serious. I knew I couldn't do this alone. I needed oh. you to, well, to look out for me. I don't need this, all right? Stop playing the wounded soul. I don't fucking care. He Fair does. Enough. You're right. Hell yeah, I'm fucking right. I'll uh, shut up now. Good. Oh, hello. You know, I have a feeling this night's just getting started. It is. We were my almost friend. finished. Yeah. <laughs> You yep. don't want to quit, do you? No, Sonny, I don't. Oh. Thanks, partner. Yeah. Okay. You've seen <clears throat> better days too, haven't you? Clawville. You tried it again. <laughs> but I'm still alive. Maybe we are we are invincible too. Pluck me. That's old Captain Marsh. <laughs> I thought he died 50 years ago. I think some people would say that about us too. <laughs> I think I must have hit my head pretty badly. That's... is a capybara? Is that the name? Say, isn't that Captain Marsh? You see him too? Oh, thank the gods. Oh boy. Oh, ho, oh, oh, lads. What the hairy devil are you doing out here? Isn't it a bit cold for a swim? It was warm on the ship, at least while it was burning. I bet it was. Arr. <laughs> hey, Captain, how's it hanging? It's hanging all right. <laughs> Arr. What about you, lubbers? Lubbers. What's all that ruckus, eh? Oh, I think someone tried to kill us, Captain. Again. It's so Come convenient. On, like, yeah. There's nothing new there. Yeah. Yeah, old rust can't be scraped away. <laughs> Did you see anything, Captain? Of course I have. A burning ship. Then two cocks sent yeah. to learn to fly. And even swim by gas. Yeah, Marty did oh. it, so. What a time to be alive, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, old man. Sure I haven't. I'm steady. Like the sea of Clawville. Yeah, except that Clawville doesn't have a sea. Of course it does, laddie. Just not here in Clawville. Okay, okay, that's too much for me. Yep, same. 
No function ask. Okay. Let's me, Captain, start with him. Hang out here all the time? In the rain. Yes, behind me is my ship, lads. Or at least it's a ship I'm living in at the moment. It's not okay. mine, you know. And what do you do? <laughs> I ship stuff. And watch the sea. The sea. As I said. You mean the river of times. River. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good one, boy. Okay. The ship. Black car stopped not far from here. A rich-looking car, shiny and all. Yeah. What else? Two big lads stepped out of it. One of them uh. was looking like some kind of cow. Oh, it's the. the... Was a cat, a big cat. They were fancy looking at the ship. I don't blame them. It's not something you see every day. I swear on all the saints of the sea. Arr. It was the the guard on at the Zar Club and oh, what what was his name? The other ones, I I don't know, but the it was it the lynx? Yeah, it's a big cat and the uh, oh um oh I I can't name the. A buffalo? Yeah, maybe maybe that. And um, so they were there. I can't, I couldn't make it out. Like in the in the cutscene, I I thought Madame Zaiwas bit off <laughs> um, Ibn's head. I don't know, but why should he be here? So we don't really know that. But um, maybe it's just like our imagination but let's keep that in mind so his two henchmen had his fingers in that just a wild guess was it a ram and a bobcat, bobcat. Arr, exactly. a ram yep are you friends of theirs yeah well, kind of <laughs> it's the bomb yep of the okay Zara i was Club right and the goon that was hanging around ibn gloomy gods they've asked answers to ibn too mm. or at least they're connected yeah. Oh, arr. that sounds exciting. Easy old timer. I wonder if it's Ibn or something behind that pulls the strings. We don't know yet. The bouncer. This, uh, Ram fella. What did he do after watching us? Arr, nothing at all, Eddie. When that lovely ship started to sink, they got into their pretty car and got away like bats out of hell. So they didn't see us swimming to shore. Which is good. Uh, I wouldn't know that. Uh, what now? I don't know. We can't go to the station, that's for sure. Well, we agree on that. Uh. I think I broke a rib or two. My sight's getting blurry. Fuck me. You know what this means? No, no, no. I'd rather go blind <laughs> than go to Bubo's. We have What's to, that? pal. Uh. I'm not your pal. Especially after tonight. Okay. Come on. We got no choice. <clears throat> well, we survived the burning ship. I <laughs> guess we'll survive the madman <laughs> too. Don't be so optimistic. <laughs> kind of cute. So let's just finish this up here. Have you heard the name Madame Zavas? Zavas, not Zavas. Zavas. Like ye. They were talking <laughs> like about ye. a gorgeous crocodile with that name. I beautiful. And deadly. Just how I like my women. Arr. Okay. Ah, me too. <laughs> Marty. Her. Yeah. Less beautiful now, but just as deadly. Arr. She has something to do with a burning ship, eh? Yeah, I could say Arr. so. Quite the detective. <laughs> Arr. So I've been told. Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. Do you last know one anything here. about the place called the Sweltering Nile? Of course I do, me boys. But they don't really talk to folks like me there. Not surprised. Hmm. Have you heard anything unusual about it? Arr, sure I have. They have the most beautiful wenches there, laddie. Like sirens of the sea. And they're willing to do anything for you. If only I were a spring chicken like ye are, I'd be already running over there. <laughs> Well, actually, Captain, that's where we came from. On a burning ship? Bloody hell! 
You know how to live, lads. Yep. Uh, we're doing our best, Captain. Hey, give me. Okay. So, can we talk to Mari? I'm glad you made it, partner. Yeah. I mean, that's you can't impressive swim if you after all. can't swim. Yeah. Or the river spat me out. Well, what about your guns? Did you throw them away? No. Hell no. Yep. Where they go, I go. And where I go, they're coming with me no matter what. I thought so. I'm seriously amazed you're still alive. Yeah, sure. Well, okay, let's just... Ooh. It's some bunch. It's a bunch of information here. So, Molly's name popped up, uh, popped up where I expected at the least in Madame Zeva's book. Zevas tried to do uh, to do away with us, but why? Is she in cahoots with Ibn Vessler? Marty. Marty's right. I was an extremely selfish bastard. But there's nothing to be done now, we're already here. And I have feelings he's gonna stand by me by my side until the very end, as always. Oh, that's very cute. Is that a bug or I don't know. Um, Dr. Reginald B. Bobo. Ubo. Eagle Owl. A morphinist, <laughs> neurotic, old and ugly. But he's not a friend from the golden days of the chicken police. Bubo's trust. Uh, Bubo's a true institution. He keeps most of Corwell's gangsters intact and alive. And sometimes even helps cops who would like to get repaired unofficially. For the right compensation, of course. Huh. Mm. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. Who will, riddle, who will riddle your feathers with holes without a thought if she has to? Yep, she's pretty ruthless. <laughs> a capybara. Yes, I was right. He talks like a real pirate and smells like one too. Uh, the captain is a much greater legend than we'll ever be. Everyone just calls him the captain, though he most likely never left the shore in his life. <laughs> he's an innocent guy indeed, but maybe he, sh he saw something useful. I feel sorry for him, but sometimes I think he's the only sane figure, figure in the whole city nowadays. That's cute. So, I wonder what's up with this. Maybe if I restart the game, we'll come back to that. Okay, the docks. Here lives Captain Marsh, who probably never was a real captain, but is still one of the most righteous fellas I've ever met. Bubo's place. Old Bubo's apartment is also his office, and I'm, sh <laughs> and I'm sure it's not legal in any way. Almost like in any, <laughs> like in my case. Yeah. Of course, my apartment is not full of organs and limbs. As far as I know, at least. Good, so... Let's look at the... Where are we right now? Okay, we... It's a pity that we can't scroll like um, on the on the map here. I would like to know the locations. So we will visit Booba's place next time. That was a ride, my guys. Um, I think we like um, yeah discovered some connections here and there. The uh, whole uh, stay. <laughs> At the brothel, the swel swelting Nile. Well, swelting Nile was uh, very informational. We got to know something about Natasha and Molly, and I don't know if she plays a bigger role in this, but I have a feeling that she will be targeted once we, um, yeah, find um, find out more about the suspects. And I mean, they tried to kill us, so they know we're on their heels and um yep so i hope you will be joining us the next episode and um i hope you have fun as much as i do and until now bye i'm really sorry i meant to say until then bye <laughs>